start thundering and the lights kind of flickered. Then the rain came, it was fine, it stopped. Saturday, the rain came, it started thundering and the lights, uh, the lights went off. As 42 years being living in Houston, Texas, this is the worst that we ever had on record. You know, a whole city's underwater. It was wild. It was like, I, I would think, well, I didn't believe it until I seen it. And when I seen all that water, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure, so you know, the water was up to here to me. And then my, and my home, my, my neighbor, he was taller than me. So the water was up to his chest, so I'm had a tiptoe. I know I, I know it flooded out there, but when I seen it for myself and I had to get in the water, oh man, I was terrified. I was like, oh man, then you know they got snakes and stuff out there. I really got frightened when the water came inside the house. And the water came all the way up to my knees. I live right there. It just comes by and asks if you need help. I live right there, and last time we flooded like this, I went and bought this John boat, and I'm like, if it ever happens again, I'm gonna have a boat here. If anybody needs anything, I help them the best I can. I want everybody to be safe and be able to get out of the neighborhood and stuff, you know? Don't wait on the help, we are the help. Coordinate maybe one team go with these boats, one team go with these boats, and another team go with these boats. That way we know medical training is in, in that area. This is a chance for us to do some good, and we're gonna certainly you know, give it a shot. We're heading over to trying to head as far west as we can, see if we can help some people out. Man, I flooded last year in 2016 in August, and people came and helped me, and it's a chance for me to get back. You know, we'll never forget, you know, when they came to our rescue, basically, so we just want to help out in any way we can. I was able to take some time away from home. I got a able body and some hands because it's got a boat, and there's a lot of people need help right now. We're going to help out as much as we can, man. We was in the flood last year. We know how it feels, so we're going to give help out as much as we can. Looks like we're heading towards the subdivision that there's an area that the roads are washed out and they're saying that they need some help. You're in a situation like this and myself, I can't swim. And when you're in a situation like this and you don't know what to do or where to run to, that's hard. And some people, you know, when they tell you to evacuate, do it. Normally I'm fixing these things and I ride them the bucket of it.
Okay, we got room. We're coming to get you. Dipping buckets to flush toilets and stuff. I was ready to get out of here. They had already got up to the furniture in the living room, so and I'm sure that my beds and my televisions, all of this gone. Walk that curb, guys. Fire hydrant. We were dispatched to a, uh, a house on fire and was surrounded by three foot of water. Uh, the only thing we could do was connect hose directly to the fire hydrant, which was underwater. We had a little bit of challenge finding the hydrant that was underwater. Uh, once they were able to find the hydrant and connect to it, um, we got our initial hose line on there and we basically just protected the exposure surrounding the house that was burning. It was nearly fully involved when we arrived. We're, we're about a hose short right now. Fire. I mean, they're, we're keeping it off of the exposure, but we just don't have enough water or pressure. Everybody on the bottom floor were evacuated or they left. But we, you know, tried to stick it out on the second floor because we were on the second floor, but the water kept rising. So we had to really just leave when the police officers came by. Just like that, we went in. And before we can do anything, the water had already gushed into the house. And um, I said, well, y'all, we can't stay here. So, and it was coming up higher and higher. I lost everything, everything. I've lost stove, refrigerators, food. We had just grocery shop and just filled up the deep freezer for the month. And uh, we lost everything. Clothes, shoes, furniture. I got to start all over again. Our apartment, we had over six feet of water. My car, I lost it. This is a truck and this is my car here underwater. I lost everything and I, I, did, I was praying and hoping that it wasn't going to be this bad, but it was. We opened the door and looked inside. Uh, I was all broken. The smell is really bad. It's really, really, really bad. I mean, I can't even breathe. I was about to throw up. A lot to clean up. The whole city is a mess right now. It's a mess. I came inside, and the first thing that I went to see my room. And I was like, oh, my room. It was the first one to get flooded, my room. It, the water started coming from my room first. So I went inside, and there was still water in there. And I was like, wow. And all my clothes, they were just on the ground. My bed, it went up to my bed. Everything got ruined. I was, I started crying, because it was really bad. Happens, stuff happens, but you know, everyone's all right, everyone's safe, you know, my family's safe, my kids' safe, so we're just uh, on, the, on to the next phase of what happened.
we care about each other. We, we love each other and when things get hard, we all come out in hundreds and thousands to help each other. I'm 50 years old and it's enough to make you cry. It's uh, amazing to see a lot of people come out and help those that are home, that are in need. Um, had it not been for the volunteers, a lot of people probably would have lost their lives. Um, and we're gonna get through this. We got through Katrina, um, and we're gonna get through um, any other storm, anything that comes our way. I've lived here all my, all my life, and, and with this disaster coming, uh, it was just amazing how people have stepped out you know, you know, to help. And it's the best part of people, and it gives me hope for the future that you know, people are able to come together for this and that we're more alike than we are different. People coming down from Dallas, from Austin, San Antonio, you know, just to, you know, spend their life to help us, you know, regroup and, you know, get back on our feet again and start going. People care more than you think, and people are more resilient than you think.